Hello everyone, I am Anissa, owner of Nissa's Nana Pudding and more. And today I wanted to uh, come to you guys to show you how to make a blingy coaster or coasters. Um, I actually have a customer who placed an order for four blingy coasters. So I just decided to do a quick video to show you how you can make your own. And of course, if you don't want to make them, you can always order them from me in any color of your choice. So uh, to make the blingy coasters, I have some uh, circle mirror, circle mirrors from Dollar Tree. I have scissors. I have an X-Acto knife, a hot glue gun. I have my bling wrap. Uh, she wanted silver, so that's why I have the silver bling wrap. But like I said, if you want it any color, you can make it any color you want. And then I have the styrofoam coasters. And then I have the uh, the mat. It comes in a roll at Dollar Tree. It's very, uh, very big. Um, but I have this as well. So let's get started so I can show you how to make your uh, blingy coasters. Okay, now making these is so, so easy. So you're going to take your coaster. And then you're going to take your mirror. There's no need to take the sticker off the back of it because it's not going to show. So all you want to do is take your hot glue gun and you want to get glue all over it on the back of it. Like that. Okay. And then you just want to take your styrofoam ball and then place it on there like that. And just make sure it's on there really good. Don't worry about the fingerprints on the mirror. We'll, we'll get rid of those later. And then you want to just press it down really good. Make sure it's on there. And then it'll look like this. So see that? Okay. And then you want to take... You want to take your mat now if you if you don't want like I said um, there are other options instead of using this mat for the bottom of it uh, let me show you some other options okay so you can use this blingy sticker back paper I got this at Michaels I think they're like a dollar and some change each you can use these hope you can see that really good yeah um, you can also get the grippers at Dollar Tree these will work good for the for the bottom of it as well or you can buy the felt they come in a, a variety of colors I can't remember if I got these from Dollar Tree or Walmart one of the two I want to say Dollar Tree um, but I know Walmart sells like uh, they sell bigger ones as well so it's really up to you what you want to use um, but those are some great options for you and so all you want to do is you want to place your styrofoam ball on the mat and then you just want to cut around it because this is going to be the bottom that's the reason why you want it to be the right size because it is going to go um, on the bottom of your coaster. So yeah, just go around your coaster. And then you can always do, you know, the cleanup for it later. You can cut it. That's what we have our scissors for. And then I would recommend, uh, being that you're working with the X-Acto knife, is to make sure you're cutting um, on something that you don't mind if it gets messed up or that you know, you know the knife won't go through. Okay, I think we have it now. There we go. And then you see that I have the circle and then I can place it right here on the bottom of it, like that. So, I'm 
just going to put some more hot glue to seal that down like that. And then you have to move fast because just like I know you guys know glue, it uh, dries really quick. So I just place mine down and then place it on the mat. And then, you know, just scrape off the excess glue like that. And then that's the bottom. You see that? That's the bottom. Okay. Now... What you want to do is you want to take your bling wrap and I actually have some cut. Uh, you want to take your bling wrap and then you want to measure uh, how many rows you're going to need to cover this part. Now if you wanted to, you can definitely spray this or uh, paint it whatever color your bling wrap is. but. You know, you really can't tell because it's like that white on silver. So it doesn't look bad at all. Okay. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to need five rows. Actually, I'll take that back. I'm going to need four rows. I'm going to need four rows to go around, all the way around. So I'm going to cut off. my four rows okay and I just wanted to make sure that that's going to be the right length that I want yeah and actually I think I will do five so I'm going to go around here I think I'm going to do five and so what you want to do at this point is just wrap it around so you can get an idea of how long uh, it'll be. And you'll know how much to cut off. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here. And, you know, it's okay if you cut too much at first. But you don't want to, you know, not cut enough. And then I decided to do five rows, so... One, two, three, four, five. This is for my width um, to be able to cover the entire coaster. And I'm doing this video in real time because I wanted to show you guys just how quick you can do this. Um, and it's taking me a little longer because I'm trying to like watch the camera, do this, <laughs> all of that at the same time. Okay, so see? that's five and that's perfect now being that the hot glue it dries quick you want to do this in sections so it's going to be like right right there so i'm just going to put some glue down and then i'm going to press it like that and then you can always go back and get the little spider webs off and things like that and clean it up. But for now, we're just trying to get it stuck to the coaster. Okay. And then you want to hold that up for a little while. And this is the reason why I do the bottom first. Because if you do the bottom, um, if you do the bottom after you put this down then you won't be able to kind of like cover up the edge. You'll be able to cover up the edge of the, uh, the felt material around. So that's the reason why I do the bottom first. And then you wanna go ahead and run some more glue down. And then take your bling wrap and press it down on there. And just hold it for a second and you can also pat it um, if you can take the heat 
I think my glue gun is like medium, medium high. So it doesn't, you know, like burn me when I touch it. It's just glue gets on my hands. So you can feel free to use gloves. Um, but I'm not doing it with gloves, so it's okay. Okay. And then once you hold that for a little bit, then you want to continue going around. Take some more glue. I just go like in little zigzags. That way I'm getting the top and the bottom. And then you just want to make sure it's straight, you know, when you're putting it on. And you might have to, like, on some sides, you might have to hold the, the black felt or whatever, you know, color or whatever you decide to put at the bottom of your coaster. You might want to hold that in place just a little bit. Okay. Trying to get the glue off my hand. Okay, that's that. And then we're almost done. Do your zigzags again. And bring your bling wrap down. And you see how right here, I need to put that, <coughs> excuse me, under it. And then you just want to pat it a little bit, like I said. Okay. That's that. Just pat it a little bit. And then I'll glue that part down again. Like right there, it needs a little bit more glue. Okay. And then I'm going to finish it up right here. And you want to just make sure that, you know, it lines up with the, the bling that you had already placed down. And then, you know, if let's just say if you didn't make it uh, long enough, um, you can always add a row. You know, just cut your bling wrap and then just place like another row or two or however many um, you made. And if you made it too long, you can just easily cut the excess off. So, you see that? We just... Yeah, then you want to just go ahead and just get that um, the little webs off. You know, they call them like little glue webs or spider webs. That's what they look like. And then just pat it. Make sure all your glue is dry and that your, your bling wrap is sticking to your coaster. Okay. And then that's it. So you see you have a blinged out coaster. I don't have a, a regular glass right here, but I have a coffee cup. <laughs> so see, you can put that on there to serve it up. And then like I said, you can, you know, buy all different colors of uh, the bling wrap. You know, rose gold, black, blue, red, yellow, whatever. Um, and then you can just, you know, follow the same steps. And that's all you have to do. So like I said, you can use this uh, this felt material. You can use the bling, you know, which of course that'll also be pretty on the bottom of it. Um, I like this material because it's easily, you know, when you place it on a table, it can slide a little bit um, if you want it to. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you make a blinged out coast coaster. And these are so pretty. And then once you're done, you can just, you know, wipe the mirror off with some uh, Windex and a paper towel. Yeah, and that's it. That's how you make a bling coaster. That was so easy. We were on here for, what, 14 minutes? But it really doesn't take that long. By the time I got through talking and showing you guys um, everything you need, it, it really doesn't take long at all. And I have to make a total of four of these. So... I'm going to let you guys go. I hope this video was helpful. Help you make something pretty, you know, for yourself, for your house, or you can give them as a gift. Or, you know, this is a great uh, thing to make and uh, people can pay you for it. Mother's Day, is com Mother's Day is coming up. Birthdays, you know, different things like that. These will be so cute as a gift. 
So thank you for watching. Please like this video. Feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you guys some more videos on different projects and uh, orders that I'm making. Uh, so please stay tuned and thank you and be safe.